knife reviews. This is the SOG FX10 Fixation Dagger. Now, if you've never seen one of these things before, uh, I check you check. I recommend you check one out because they're they're pretty cool. Uh, I bought this primarily as a fighting knife. Now, when I say these things in the videos that I bought it as a fighting knife, it doesn't mean I'm going to go out and do something stupid. It just means that I bought it, you know, in a practice of a martial art type of thing, uh, and something that I just kind of, you know, this is pretty much the only thing these things are designed for is a fighting knife. This is not in any way a utility knife. That is just such a savage looking knife. This is probably the scariest looking dagger, I think. And it, I don't know, uh, for me, it seems like this is like the nicest dagger SOG makes. They make a couple other ones, uh, but this one I really like. <sighs> They're starting to get pricey, though. The fixation line, of course, made in China. And, uh, it's, they're, I love the handles on these things. If we're talking a fighting knife, and I'm just going to give you an idea, you know, like, I mean, this thing is just so freaking fast. Terrifying. I mean, you'd never see it coming at you. And they flip back, you know, like they're, you know, they're that kind of a knife, you know. You know, I just, that's what they are. Uh, you know, they're just a, they're, they're a fighting knife. Now, it's got some pretty wicked looking serrates on it. I normally don't like serrates, but... If we're talking combat knives, we're talking psychological warfare as well. You tell me that's not scary. Let's have a look at look at that blade. That's a pretty fine blade. Again, this is the type of knife that is more of a collector. I mean, it's not a bush knife. You can't baton it. You're not going to do anything. Like that. This is solely, I'd say, between utility and fighting. It's 99% fighting and maybe 1% utility. I'm sure you can do it. Well, that's not fair. I'll say 90% 90, 90 fighting and 10% utility. So you're not going to baton it. You're not going to, you know, do too much. You might be able to use that as a hammer a bit. But again, this is made out of uh, cheaper stainless. So that means uh, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to hold up in that kind of thing. Uh, and like all daggers, they tend to break fairly easy. Um, so there are... Th almost purely a thrusting weapon, but you can slash with them, you know, and again, I know it's kind of like, okay, well, dude, you're, you're talking about some pretty nasty stuff, it's a dagger, that's what it was designed for, why sugarcoat it, uh, doesn't mean, again, doesn't, liking these things does not mean you're going to go out and do something stupid with them, it just, you have to be real, you know, put reality, it is what it is, it's, it's a, it's a combat knife, um, the price of them, they're getting a bit pricey, they used to be about 38 bucks, now they're about 48 bucks. They get me higher than that. I don't know if I'd recommend one. I bought this, and I will admit, I pretty much solely bought this thing on look. Um, because I like it. Plus, I have the fixation bully, which I've, I, I believe I did a review on. I might do another review on it, because it's a neat knife. But I love the handles. For, I don't, I'm not crazy about the grip. I mean, it slips. You know, it's not like my K-bars. But I love the size of that little broom handle, you know. They're just such a... You know, any... any you know, you get that. It's a pretty savage looking weapon. You know, I'm right handed, but uh, for the purpose of this. But you have to be careful with these things. You can gash yourself with this so easy. It's ridiculous. But again, a nice little knife. Um, made 420 stainless. I'd love to have one of these things made out of like 1095 or something durable like that. Uh, Rockwell hardness, I believe, is 56 or somewhere around there. Um, so you get the hardness, you get all that. It's just, it's a, it's a lower grade dagger in the uh you know materials wise but design wise this was designed by special forces uh from what i've read it, it was designed to meet the needs of special forces um that said uh would it meet the needs of special forces well if i was going overseas and i had to rely on this thing to save my life i don't know uh it would do the job but in a navy seal style or a canadian special forces style uh, combat, I really, really don't know if I'd want to rely on this thing. Uh, that said, for the enthusiast, knock yourself out. It's awesome. Uh, you know, something looks at here. It's, I mean, like, the design is awesome. Like, the design is phenomenal on this thing. It's just the materials. Why Force 20 stainless? I'll never know. Sure, it will do the job in the ocean. I mean, this thing is not going to, you know... But then again, be, I mean, like all daggers are typically thinner. This is a thrusting weapon. You could bust this so easy just by prying on it. That's usually what happens. The fate of most daggers is the, the tip breaks. But as we see, this thing has a really nice 
tip on it. A really nice serrates on it. Just savage looking. So it, like the, the look of the it's a terrifying knife and a sexy knife at the same time. Hence why I bought it. Uh, no other uh, ill-mannered uh, uh, reasons for me buying this. Uh, just basically, I bought it as a combat knife. It, it is a combat knife. Now, if you're into the zombie apocalypse, doomsday, World War III, uh, whatever, um, again, this would get you out of a jam, maybe. But, uh, I don't know. It's it's just not one of those knives that I would uh, rely on because of the 420 stainless. That, that's that's the only thing. No, I thought I had a sheath here for it. I, should, I do, I do. Now, this, okay, I normally don't care about bragging about sheaths, but this is actually pretty decent. Now, the lighter doesn't come with it, but I got a yeah, cool, flashy lighter in there. You could put a stone in there, but let's put it to you realistic. I've done this with my SOG fixation dagger. If you're lo lost in the bush, what do you think you're going to need first? A sharpening stone or a lighter? I say a lighter. But, that's me. But again, look, no snaps. Just Problem with this, again, if you were a Special Forces guy, you've taken three days to stock up behind your enemy and you're just about to get him with this and then <laughs> he hears you so if it was a retention it might be a little bit better but look at the you know it's a generous loop it's very well made like it's a beautiful sheath i hate to say it but i actually you know i mean this is like styling you know it's a well-dressed pretty girl you know but uh that's what it is um it's just a, a really cool dagger um meant for the masses um again it would serve its purpose, but to rely on it as a professional SOG, if you ever watch these videos, make a better quality version of this. Now, they do make the Dagger 2, or Daggered 2, and it's a much better quality. I haven't seen it up close personal, but I just love the design of this one. I love the broom handle. I love that. Look at that. You know, just a little fast little broom handle thing, you know. Like it's just, I call it broom handle, but I just love the handles on the fixation line. Um... Uh, yeah, that's about, I mean, that's about it. That's all I can really tell you. Now, the blade length is, I believe, six and a half, seven inches. I never look up the specs before I do a review. If I was on a payroll, I'm sure I'd get fired for, you know, you're supposed to kind of know that, dude. But, yeah, so again, it, in Canadian dollars, it was about uh, 50 bucks, you know, 48 something. And I ordered it from Relics. There are some places that were cheaper, but they were out of stock. Uh, but when I ordered it, somebody just ordered the last one just before they placed my order, and I had to wait for it anyway. So, you know, but uh, shop around. Again, I wouldn't pay much more than 50 bucks for it. I think it's a little overpriced for because of the 420. That's about the only thing I'm really holding against it is that it's stainless steel, because I, stain, I, I know the property is a stainless steel. It'll, it'll be fine in salt water, sure. Uh, very stiff, sure. Uh, difficult to sharpen and brittle. That's the problem with 420. Again, this isn't a work knife. As a fighting knife, trust me, this thing flies around fast to the point where you have to be careful throwing it around. Just so you know. Well, anyway, that's it. Okay, here we go again. I'm on a roll today with the knife reviews. This is the SOG FX10 Fixation Dagger. Now, if you've never seen one of these things before, uh, I check you check. I recommend you check one out because they're they're pretty cool. Uh, I bought this primarily as a fighting knife. Now, when I say these things in the videos that I bought it as a fighting knife, doesn't mean I'm going to go out and do something stupid. It just means that I bought it, you know, in a practice of a martial art type of thing, uh, and something that I just kind of, you know, this is pretty much the only thing these things are designed for is a fighting knife. This is not in any way a utility knife. That is just such a savage looking knife. This is probably the scariest looking dagger, I think. And it, I don't know, uh, for me, it seems like this is like the nicest dagger SOG makes. They make a couple other ones, uh, but this one I really like. <sighs> They're starting to get pricey, though. The fixation line, of course, made in China. And... Uh, it's, I love the handles on these things. If we're talking a fighting knife, and I'm just going to give you an idea, you know, like, I mean, this thing is just so freaking fast. Terrifying.